Welcome back guys and I'm glad to have you back and in this video we are doing a unboxing or unboxing a vacuum sealed sleeping bag arctic survival and uh, let me bring you down here and show us you real real closer before we open it up so here we have the sleeping bag arctic survival and then you have the NSN number, which is 8465-01-131-7921. Made by Tenor Industries Incorporated. Sleeping Bag Arctic Survival. And, um, of course I got a really good deal on this. And, uh, <laughs> I actually really did. But, um, we're going to do the unboxing in this video. And then the next video, we're going to do an overnight in it. Because I really want to test it out. But... I want to wait to get this thing into some single digits or if we can get below zero to test it out because it is Arctic survival. Now there isn't a lot of information on this uh, sleeping bag. The only thing I could really find is you can find the NSN number online. However, the only thing I could find is that the NSN number was changed to this in 1982, May of 1982. And that's basically all I could find I don't think it's in any manual that I have, any military manual. But basically, this is an Army, I think there's a name called the AMSS, the Army Module Sleep System or something. Uh, yeah, it, it was, I guess it's something they've carried in their helicopters maybe, or maybe under the injector seat of an airplane. Um, that's basically what it is, but it's also a component to a survival kit, a cold weather survival kit. and. The thing is, I can't pinpoint the exact date of this one, although it does say 02 right here. So I don't know if that's 2002. If you guys know, maybe you could let me know. I'm not for sure. But it could be from the 80s, it could be from the 90s, it could be from the thousands. I'm not for sure. So maybe when we get it opened up, we'll find out. So, well, with that said, let's go ahead and get this thing opened up. Okay, so on this thing here, on your bottom right, shows how to open it with putting your foot there however i think it's lost some of its vacuum seal so basically you're supposed to put your foot on here and you're supposed to tear this and do the same on the inside but this is <laughs> already kind of lost where it's been torn and torn here so i think it's safe that we can just put our hand on here and tear it so uh here we go you got this is gonna rip yeah <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't pop out on me. How these are gonna tear right. Nope, it's not. Okay, I'm gonna slowly cut this tag off here. Maybe there'll be a tag inside this or something on the sleeping bag. Might give me just a little bit more information, hopefully. We'll see. There we go. Now it's working, right? Nope. <laughs> Halfway. I'm going to put my knife back up here.
Well, we're gonna have to cut this open. There we go. The knife away, this is saying let's shoot out. Awesome. Look at the feathers go. <laughs> this is a down bag, by the way. Wow. Wow. This thing is sweet, guys. It's got a heavy, heavy duty zipper on it. Gotta get all fluffed back out here. So this thing has a really, really heavy duty zipper on it, just like the MSS patrol bag. Uh, these, I believe you could just rip away like that. And that's just like your patrol bag or your MSS sleep system. Rip away an emergency. It's designed to just rip open like that. So that's really nice. That's why I like the American uh, military sleeping bags the best. They have. Some of the best heavy duty zippers there are. He just goes right open. So that's if you need out an emergency, but yeah. Yeah, I gotta definitely get this thing fluffed up. Gotta get this thing fluffed up, but you can see all the all the feathers are being stuffed for so long. But uh bright orange is the color. And you got like an OD green color here for the zipper. And then you got Velcro right there and here to sense it, cinch it shut. I will say the hood here is very reminiscent of the Isrotex uh, Extreme Cold Weather sleeping bag. I think this is almost the same bag, it's just orange. <laughs> Because the hood right here, as you see it getting cinched up, it is just like the Isratec sleep system. It's a little different than the uh, MSS sleep system, but just like the Isratex. And of course you got your Velcro right here, since it's shut. Yeah, that's just like the Isratec sleep system. And there is what it looks like when it's all cinched up. So this might be the exact same bag, I don't know. It feels a lot heavier than the one I have. But I did find this number on here. And it says 5656. So it's definitely not a date unless no, nope, thought may I was reading it wrong, but it may be in 95, but no, it's 56, so I have no idea exactly what that number is. Any military guys out there know? Appreciate it if you could let me know. I'm going to turn it inside out and see if there's any tag on this. Maybe it will give me a little better description exactly of uh, everything about this. And there is no no tag <laughs> so that's all we get I guess right here on the inside found this number here this is one I get it there on camera 164 and again I have no idea what that means 
maybe it's the date, maybe it's the 164 day it was made, I, I don't know. There you guys have it, that is the unboxing of the sleeping bag. Now if I can find any more information on this and the survival kit that it goes with, I will do that in my next video which will be, we'll be testing this bag out in overnight. But like I said, I want to wait till it gets into about the single digits or below zero. And um, yeah, if I find more information, I will put more up there. But we're going to kind of do an overnight with this. Not going to be any fire or anything, it's just going to be kind of like a survival situation if I was like a crash pilot. and. The kit that this thing comes with, I found stuff on that, and it comes with a poncho, so we'll probably be using a poncho for our shelter and some of the other components that come with that survival kit that you would use with this kit if you were a crashed pilot. But, uh, yeah, it's going to be a fun video for sure. Test this thing out. I'm telling you right now, I can already tell you, this bag is going to be extremely warm. This thing is massively, I mean, it's just... It's probably not, you probably can't see it on camera, but it is massive. And uh, <laughs> there is, a, it's already lofting up a lot, but it's very, very heavy weight. And I will tell you, if you were to go on the market and buy a brand new sleeping bag like this, you spend hundreds of dollars. Guarantee you, I didn't spend that. <laughs> I just wanna show you guys what this thing is lofted up to already. And it's probably been, Oh, probably an hour and a half, but I'd say eight inches. Eight inches that thing is lofted up to. For that being vacuum sealed, that thing is really, really lofted up well. That's just, uh, that's just amazing. Eight inches. <laughs> I got a feeling this thing is going to be really warm. That is the Arctic Survival Sleeping Bag. I'm really digging the, the green and the orange. It looks good together. But, you know, of course they have the orange for signaling and stuff. But, yeah, awesome. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And um, I can't wait to get out and do an overnighter of this. So it's going to be another test night. But this year with the Arctic Survival Sleeping Bag. So, uh... Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. It always helps me out. And uh, please make sure you leave your comments below. If you have any information on the sleep system that comes with the uh, survival kit. And uh, like I said, all I know is that the NSN number was changed from the original NSN number, I guess, before this bag in 1982. So I, I really have no idea how old this bag is. I'm guessing 2002 because of the O2 on the package, but I really have no idea. So if any of you veterans out there, anyone knows or had any experience with this, be awesome if I get some information from you. So we'll see you guys in the overnighter soon. Till next time, guys, take care. God bless you. <laughs> Bye.